America. What we call ghosts. People out there that live in the shadows. Those the people king. really aren't bad. Yo. What did we say about these fucking 3,500 view links? Huh? In exchange for a food ration, watch this video with low view count. Force and hobo plus happy. That's not how this works. In exchange for me, maybe, watching your video half-assed, you give me 50,000 plus view videos, or... A fucking is this check mark? Oh, this is maybe okay. Never mind. I guess that works. Wait, I thought you weren't allowed to say hobo anymore. Chat, you're so fucking retarded. I said that a hobo is not a demeaning term, and you guys said. It's not politically correct. And I said, Hobo is someone who just travels and fucking works for food and sleep in the traditional sense. You were like, question mark? They call me the Dutchman. I've been riding trains for 50 years straight. When I was young, pissy stepfather tried to send me to live with an uncle for a minute. They got in a lot of trouble. And back then, to be in Dutch meant to be in trouble. So he started calling me the Dutch boy. And then as I grew older, it just simply became the Dutchman. Hobos, the real bows out there that ride the rails, kind of divided it up over the years to give these folks someone to be around that actually lives the life. This really doesn't have anything to do with the harshness of, of the life I live. It has more to do with people are enamored by National this lifestyle that I live. King, queen. And they want their kids to be caring. If somebody really needs some help, help them. And that's why they bring them here. If you're gonna be a, a traveling person, you have to make a choice. Whether you're gonna be a bomb or you're gonna be a working boat. It took years, but I became an electrician. Pretty soon, you got a pocket full of money and you're ready to move on. Americans are proud of being what they call free. You ain't free until your backpack's full and your pockets are empty. I don't encourage none of this. It's a hard life. It's a fool's errand to think that a grown man could just start doing the kind of life that I lead and would be comfortable. It's second nature to me because I've been doing it since I was a boy. When you go through some really hard times with somebody, you freeze and you go hungry and you just go through all these things together, you bond and that makes what we call family. Just trying to survive can be a regular job. When and I do have cold away, hands. The Deschutes Canyon and along the Columbia time Gorge. To time. Those places are really special. There's always going to be people who suffer from the opposite. And sometimes at the end of, of my stream, I get pretty hungry. We call it far lust. And I do have the beard and the hair. You try to put me in a house somewhere, I get sick. I gotta go someplace I ain't never been. I gotta go do something. I can't be stopped. Unstoppable. I wouldn't say you're very free with a backpack and empty pockets. Don't think you're very free. Because you're gonna have to work for someone regardless to earn your keep and earn food if you like the video make sure to leave a like and a comment on what you want to see next